I hate myself. <laughs> As the sun peeped over the mountains, resolving the sunrise into blue skies, Caleb and I descended the mountain on our white mechanical steed Travis, bound for the volcanic land of Yellowstone National Park. Although we still had a full day of driving ahead of us, our spirits were high after a hearty breakfast. So we're on the way to Yellowstone. We left uh, Glacier this morning with go the drive through Logan Pass and go they're going to the Sun Road. Uh, it's like an eight and a half hour drive or something. Then we ate breakfast. We saw Bojangles. We thought it was a fast food restaurant, but to our pleasant surprise, it was Bojangles Diner, which was yeah. well, a diner. It's way better. Yeah, and that was great. But yeah, we're like a little under six hours from Yellowstone. We're taking the scenic route. We're going to be going through Bozeman. Kalispell was nice. It was like the only place Caleb has had a signal this whole time. Yes. Which is bizarre to me. I had another reason to not get a sprint. Yes. The hours of driving flew by, seemingly tethered to the mountains and dazzling countryside, directing us to Yellowstone National Forest and to our first destination of West Yellowstone. So we're here in West Yellowstone. Finally got here. What do you think of the town so far? Actually, it's, it's not terrible. It's kind of kitschy, though. Yeah. The park is, I just can't wait to get in the park, to be honest. We're looking for food that isn't Asian, or, I, or barbecue, pizza. or pizza. Or barbecue. I didn't think that'd be that hard, but apparently it is, so. Yay, and then we gotta go get yep. groceries and find a place to camp, so we got a lot to do. So, here was the plan. Caleb has a friend that lives in Montana, and we were supposed to rendezvous with her in Yellowstone. We tried to get to Yellowstone as early as possible from Glacier to secure some sort of campsite so she could meet us there and camp with us. We had absolutely nothing booked, and it looked like we were going to have to set up shop somewhere in the middle of the National Forest. However, we were in for a pleasant surprise as Caleb and I received an answer to our prayers. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing right here is an answered prayer. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got a campsite in Yellowstone. There was a reservation five minutes before we got to the site. We were praying and we got one We, because we were going to have to go start hunting for them again. But we got one at a first campsite in Madison right inside the park. I mean, we're going to set the tent up here, got the truck camper here. I mean, it's just, it's great. It's so great. We really couldn't have gotten luckier. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get groceries at West Yellowstone and try to go see Old Faithful tonight. You got a friend coming. Old, yep, uh, one of Kayla's friends coming. Um, and... Uh, we're going to get up early, go get a campsite at West Thumb, and then go see the park. I've learned on this trip that I tend to overestimate my resources and abilities. For example, I said we were going to try to see Old Faithful, a roughly 45-minute drive from the campsite when we hadn't set up our camp or gotten groceries, and it was already 5 p.m. We did not see the Reliable Geyser that night. However, Caleb and I had more pressing matters, such as contacting Caleb's friend Hannah without cell service. We don't have service, and we still haven't met Caleb's friend, so we're gonna have to use a payphone. I've used a payphone before. I don't think Caleb uh, has. Local coin paid calls fifty per fifty cents unlimited. Oh, there you go. That night was the first night in a while we got to have a campfire. As I sat by it, I looked up into the sky and watched the satellite soar around the Earth. Mesmerized by the flames, I thought of what my late grandmother might say to me about embarking on this journey. She and my grandfather visited out west frequently, and I wondered whether she would be worried sick about me or excited for me. Eventually, I drifted off to sleep, still lost in thought, only to be abruptly woken again at the crack of dawn. As Caleb and I set up for Grant Village to claim our campsite for day two, we stopped to watch a herd of buffalo grazing in the meadow. Alright, it's 6 a.m. We uh, just checked out of our Madison campground, and now we're going to get another one in Grant Village for tonight. Uh, and first thing we see is this small herd of buffalo over here. Uh, I try to get it out to see them fighting because they were fighting, but um, they are no longer doing so, of course. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Okay, so we went to where did we go? Grant Village. That's right. Uh, to try to find a campsite, but of course those were reserved. Uh, we didn't get a map saying which ones are first come first served and which ones are reserved. But look at this campsite. Look at the view from where we're camping right here. It is just magnificent. Uh, so this is a first come first serve. This is Lewis Lake. Uh, the lake's actually uh, completely over there. So we got us a spot and we're gonna go ahead and set up our tent. We've reserved the spot um, with the paper, but we wanna just make sure. I can't get over how pretty this is. I mean, you just go over here and it just drops off and there's mountains everywhere, so. Uh, but yeah, and then after this, we're gonna go to Old Faithful. I'm gonna take a dump and we're gonna see the world's most faithful guys. Still haven't seen Hannah. Yeah, we still have not seen Caleb's friend. We, we never saw her last night. She did not show up. We are worried. We'll find her. We never found her. 
That's right, she never called or texted Caleb the entire trip. Heck, even after the trip, Caleb never even heard from her. The stress of trying to find or hear from Hannah put Caleb in a grumpy mood for most of the day, which in turn made me a tad grumpy. You'll see that come out in some of the video clips. We pushed through it, though, and finally made it to see Old Faithful. Oh, look, look, look. Wow. Did you get it? Yeah, but it's not even, like, fully around. Dude, get it. Now did you get it? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, look, it's coming apart. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> wow. Also, I submitted this picture to Teva on my Instagram, at netriff, by the way, for their contest, and I'm very upset I did not get any recognition for it. I thought it was good. Yeah, oh well. Then we headed off to see Mammoth Hot Springs. I bet Shrek would love this. <laughs> it smells like Shrek, too. Oh, jeez. Alright, so Yellowstone is huge, and what I'm gonna do here is a sightseeing speed montage. Here we go! This is Mammoth Hot Springs. This is the Yellowstone Grand Canyon. This is a bear. These are bison. These are elk. This is the petrified tree. This is awful. This is awful. I'm currently running away from the freaking biting flies everywhere on the petrified tree. That was not worth it, by the way. It would have been cool to see the tree, like it's right here on the parking lot, but these biting flies make me want to get in the car and never get out again. And here are a bunch of mud volcanoes that I can't remember the names of, so I'm just gonna make them up now. Uh, the one that makes noise, Shrek's Jacuzzi, uh, the one that used to be bigger, the diarrhea pit, and the bigger diarrhea pit. So I'm trying to go to the bathroom, but uh, I have a visitor here. <laughs> Made it. After the mud volcanoes, it was time for bed. This is the most beautiful sunset we have ever seen. This, it, I can't, the camera doesn't do it. No, the camera does not at all. Wow. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, cook some soup and then get ready for the Tetons in the morning. The following day began with following tradition by playing the Jurassic Park theme song whilst gazing upon the Grand Teton mountain range. We are in the Grand Tetons, one of the visitor center. Uh, I did not know it was this close to Yellowstone. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can show you this view right over here. This is beautiful. We're at the marina currently. And I mean, just, just look at it. Just look at it. This does not make the... Uh, Mountain look as big as it really is, but we have sailboats and stuff, which I'm a huge fan of. It's actually kind of warm right now. I think it's warmer than it is. Anyway, we're going to take our time to see the Tetons, and then we're going to go down, since we have, basically we have until tomorrow night to make it to Denver. After the visitor center, Caleb and I visited some historic park buildings and tried some local made craft soda. There's a bell. Don't ring it. It's not service time. Oof. That was pretty. It was as gentle as I could do it. Here it is. Dude, you can go in. Oh, they actually have services. I bet that'd be cool to go to a service here. Ooh, which one are you gonna get? Can you get the huckleberry? Give me one. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's the best root beer ever, right? Really? Is it yes, better than the craft one in... Um... Yes. That's not root beer, though. Oh. Oh, it's the best soda. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Even with all that, Caleb was still disappointed. What do you think, Caleb? It's pretty. They're really pretty. I'm I still disappointed, them. though. One, you know who's? I haven't seen a moose. Well, maybe we'll see a moose. Luckily, that would be remedied soon. Caleb, what is that? It's a freaking moose. How happy are you? Dude, so happy. <laughs> We stopped by Teton Village, which is a skiing village, to try and ride the tram to the top of the mountain, but it was unfortunately out of our price range to do so. Outside of the park, we stopped in Jackson Hole to admire the elk antler arches in the square. We then traveled through gorgeous Wyoming to our destination for the night that happened to be some cheap hotel. Okay. We are in a hotel. <laughs> we are in Rollins? Rollins, Rollins Wyoming. Wyoming. Uh, it is 
nine o'clock, no, 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, we got a last minute reservation here. Um, so this is this is a little over halfway to Denver. You know, I was, I was, I was talking to Caleb before he came in here. Um, this is actually about right because on the way up here, we did three nights. Uh, then we had a bed and a shower. Then when we left Valier, we had three nights and now we're getting a bed and a shower and then it'll be three more nights and we'll be back home and get a bed and a shower. So we're going to, um, yeah, get cleaned up, do some laundry and, uh, just honestly, just, shower. just shower, just regroup before we go to Denver tomorrow. We're going to have a good day in Denver and then have, um, you know, the rest of the road trip home. Little did we know that that would be our last night before things really went downhill. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to subscribe to see more content in the conclusion of the Journey West vlogs. Next week will be another one-minute mountain biking tutorial, then the week after that will be the next video in this series. See you next time!